Wrestling Federation in association with Stampede Productions, and of course the good folk at Primate Plumbing proudly present Rumble in the Jungle! Let's now cross to our treetop commentators, Chuck Spots and Charlie Fur. Hi, and welcome to another Australasia versus the rest of the world Rumble in the Jungle special. I'm Chuck Spots, and as usual, I have with me ex-world marsupial wrestling champion, the possum who could toss him, Charlie Fur. Thanks, Chuck. Now let's go down to Graham, who has our wrestler profiles. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Girl Power comes straight from the Abalone Nationals in Rotorua where she won her fresh seafood section. Good around the ring and once she gets on a roll, look out! Quite a colourful character when she comes out of her shell. Related to the great New Zealand deep water wrestler Peter Power, who was immortalised in a set of Power Shell coasters late last year. Komodo would have to be one of the most feared and loathed animal wrestlers. He's so far eaten 24 of the 28 opponents he's faced and maimed two others. Not a very nice character who is fortunate to still be involved in professional wrestling. I don't like girl power's chances, but she's a feisty wee thing, so anything's possible. Back to you guys up there. Yeah, thanks, Graham. Introductions, please, Charlie. Introducing the Oceanian Shellfish Wrestling Champion and the Australasian Deep Sea Rock sucker of the year, Girl Power! And their opponent tonight is the fearsome reptile wrestler and prehistoric predator with 12 wins from 12 fights, representing the rest of the world, Komodo! There's a rumour flowing about that this guy has eaten some of his opponents. The WAWF has investigated these claims and, as a matter of caution, decided to replace Kevin the Koala Bear with Girl Power. Yes, Kevin would have been easy meat. Shellfish isn't part of Komodo's diet, so Girl Power shouldn't lose any weight during this fight. Komodo's in a new fighting suit, Jack. Yes, Komodo's trialing a new synthetic fabric made from recycled disposable nappies. Uh, wonderful. Now, Go Power's rolled over. Uh, what do you think she's up to here, Jack? She's exposing her shell, which is a sign of aggression. Komodo's now admiring himself in the mirror, which has been kindly supplied by Mr. Pebble Primate. You never turn your back on a power. Never, ever. Well, you're exactly right, Jack. Go Power's launched herself and the dragon is now stuck fast on his back. She's applied a tortoise hold. Uh, exp- Explain this if you would, Chuck. Charlie, a tortoise hold is usually applied by heavier shellfish wrestlers. Its main aim is to slow the opponent down. Like a tortoise? Exactly. Now Girl Power appears to be sliding down the side of Komodo. She's trying to unbalance him, Charlie. Oh, over he goes like a big, big tortoise shell thing. Mr. Primate moves in and I think says to Komodo, that was pathetic. Take a good look at yourself. Girl Power deserves a pat on the back for that effort, Chuck. A power patty? They're getting worse, Chuck. I know. Oh, my goodness, it's getting late. The big hand says it's time to grab something to eat. Oh, so it does. Hey, but don't worry. We'll be back soon with another rumble in the jungle. Until then, spot ya. For sure.